I am here. Hey YouTube, it's your boy, Joseph Stalin in here. <laughs> Bringing you a death profile on Astro Dragons. I put the ass in Astro Dragons. Let's get this started. My buddy for right now, um, because I can't afford another coup, is... What are you? Eleven dollars, none the richer? Yeah. Uh, Star's Guidance Cross Astrologia. But he does. So, just four of those. What it does is pay two gauge and put the top card of your deck into your soul. That's the call cost. Then at the start of your attack phase, call up to one size one Astro Dragon monster from your drop zone without paying its call cost. That's pretty cool. Ga and then Galaxy Formation if you have an Astro Dragon on your center. And left and an Astro Dragon item equipped. Cards on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So... Because effect destruction matters so much. Because Endgame Study doesn't, like, gives you another attack phase, and this card's effect isn't once per turn. You can just keep using it and abusing it and to bring out your coups, but I'll go it's into a that. a great card for utility. Yeah. It's good early game. Yeah. Uh, but... Um, call the pretty one. But that's it for that card. Uh, next, uh, my only size 3 I run is Seer Fight Dragon Argent Ore. Its effect is pay two, uh, call cost, pay 2 gauge, and put the top card of your deck into its soul. If you have an Astro Dragon on your center, this card size on the left or right is reduced by 3. When this card enters the field, if you have an Astro Dragon item equipped, destroy a card on your opponent's field. It's okay for what it is. I just use it so I can... Um, have enough units to proc this next card skill off. It is uh, King's Brilliance Cross Barnese Astrologia. Mm. It is a mouthful. That's my favorite kind of pasta, though. Farnese. Farnese. Bolognese. Bologna. Uh, call cost, pay three gauge, and put the top two cards of your deck into the uh, song. So it's an upgrade from the past Astrologias. Oh, I get it. They call it a king because he's wearing a, br a crown. That's funny. If you have um, four or more Astro Dragons on your field, this one counts, by the way. Uh, all cards on your field get 10k, critical plus one, and penetrate. Six, 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 six. Counter. Richard, you may, counter is an act. You may drop a hand card. If you do stand all Astro Dragons on your field, you may only use this ability once per turn. It's a really cool card. It makes everything hit above 50. Yeah, above 15k when you have the one of the uh, items equipped. Get to that in a second. Next I run... Four Seer Fight Dragon... Seer Fight Dragon Coop. Counter. Call this card. Second skill is when this card attacks, if you have three or more Astro Dragons on your field, put the top cutter of your deck into your gauge. You gain one life and draw a card. At the beginning of each player's final phase, you may return this card to hand. So this comboed with end game study, comboed with, uh, what are you? Uh, Starter's Guidance. Just, like, gives you a shit ton of attacks. And it's a really fun. A shit ton of gauge in life. Yes, a shit ton of gauge in life. It's really and fucking cool. And, uh, yeah. And then you combo it with Cell Association and that other spell that recently. Honestly, this thing's most likely going to be my buddy because I'm thinking of cutting down oh, um, God! Star's Guidance to three. And uh, I call this one a lot more. I see it a lot more than the other one. Next, I run four fret. Skill is when it's placed on rear guard. Sir, oof. When it's placed on the wow, left. Is that you good? If you have an Astro Dragon on your field, put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. What I really like about a lot of these cards is like, they don't say, oh, put an Astro Dragon monster. If you have an Astro Dragon monster, it's if you have an Astro Dragon in general. So the set spell counts, the item counts. That's really nice. Alright. Also, run it at four, because it's the best card in the deck. By far. Uh, I run four... Feslon. When it enters a field, uh, search your deck for an item. Add it to your hand, then equip it by paying its call cost. And uh, finally, two Sable as my other size one's call cost is pay two gauge. You never use it, though. You only call this card with uh, Star's Guidance.
for a free, because it makes it free, so. Skill is, when this card enters on the left, if you have another Astro Dragon on your field, choose a monster or item on your opponent's field. Drop a soul from that card and destroy it. Yeah, size zero's next. Four, Govern Star Dragon Billet. Call cost is pay one gauge. During your turn, all Astro Dragons on your field cannot be rested or returned to hand by your opponent's card effects. When this card enters the field, it may put up to one size two or greater Astro Dragon monster from your drop zone into your hand. So if you start off and if you start off and like. So if you start off with your um fucking <laughs> keep losing my train of thought, Jesus. Okay, there we go. If you start off and you know there's a cross astrologia in your fucking gauge, just soul blast it. Just like pay the cost with this. Call it. And there you go. You get then you add it to your hand. Nice recycling. We're at spells now. I run four immobilized tactics. You may only cast this card if you have an Astro Dragon on your field. Cast cost, pay one gauge, choose a card in your opponent's field, rest it for this turn, the chosen card cannot stand. I used that against Miles' Garga, and it pisses him off. What did you do again? The, the fucking uh, immobilized tactics. Whee! Unfortunately, I have to run four of these because of the... Time to main deck combat hall. I have to run four of these because of King's Brilliance and... Yeah. What it does is set. This card remains on the field. Abilities of all Astro Dragon on your field cannot be negated by your opponent's card effects. When an Astro Dragon monster enters your field, you gain one life, draw a card. This ability only activates once per turn. You may only set one uh, battle preparations on your field. That's why I don't like it, because once you set one, the rest become vanillas. Next, I run Proclaim, Decisive Point, three of them. You may only cast this card if you have an Astro Dragon on the field. Draw a card. For this turn, all Astro Dragons on your field cannot be destroyed or returned to hand by your opponent's card effects. And they get power plus 3,000. You may only cast one of these per turn. Dude, send the GG thing. Dude, dude. Next, I run three Proclaim, Steer the Stars. Uh, you may only cast this card if you have an Astro Dragon on your field. Cast cost is pay one life. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Put a, up to a total of two Astro Dragon monsters or items from among them into your hand. And put the rest into your gauge. You can only cast these once per turn. A lot of these spells are only once per turn, which kind of sucks, but keeps them from being broken. Next, I run... Two Celeste Fear Control. Could only cast this if you have a size two or greater Astro Dragon on your field. Well, oh, should show it off. Draw a card for each Astro Dragon monster on your field, and you can only cast one of these per turn. I only run it at two because if I run it at three, it gets cloggy, and again, once per turn, drawing cards are pretty eh. Oof. Okay. Next, uh, two Notify, but, uh, Blessed Rain Tactic. It's when I'm being attacked, notify the attack, and I gain a life for every Astro Dragon on my field. I run two Sky Seer Pulse, which is... Uh, choosing use one of the following two. If you have an Astro Dragon on your left, rest a monster in your opponent's field. If you do, you gain two life. And you have a, if you have an Astro Dragon on your right, stand an Astro Dragon monster on your field. If you do, deal one damage to your opponent. So it's either... So like... I get to use my coups with it, like reuse them, and I get to have an, uh, another two cards to rest my opponent's shit with. Two Cell Association, pay one gauge, choosing, use and choose one of the following. Call an Astro Dragon from your hand by paying its call cost, return a monster from the field to the hand. I use this again to recycle my coups, that's pretty much all I use it for. Oh, this hurts! Ah. Oh fuck! Thank you, Bash Miles. Against that, very cool. Two shining rain because it's not good at four. Oh, did I? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Holy fuck, you're messy. I don't care. I really don't. Oh, two more spells. Two uh, buddy block. Two bloody block. Yeah, two bloody block. 
Yikes! <laughs> Two buddy cock. Uh, <laughs> counter, choose one, use one of the following two for this turn. The next damage you take is reduced by three. You don't use that. Dude, if you switch the B and buddy with the B and block, it's buddy <laughs> block instead. Buddy block, more like buddy block. <laughs> Richard's like, not these dumbasses. And second is your opponent's card attack four more times during this turn. You take no damage from any other attacks. That's the important part. Two items, uh... Ideally, you'd run two of these. Um, what's it called? Jose, Seer why tool runes. Two of them, then. Because I don't have a second one, Miles. If I did, I wouldn't be running this, this piece of shit. This is all I got. This is all I got. And uh, two end game study because, and f funnily enough, it's a lot better in Astro Dragons than it is in um, metal. chess metal shit. That's it for the main deck. But what does end game study do? Gives me another battle phase. You already explained that. How yeah, you know? earlier. With coup? Yeah. I run... Alright, for my sideboard, three loyalty. Why do I run loyalty, Miles? Um, well, first off, read out what all three of its skills do. <laughs> what do they do? Cast cost, pay one gauge, counter, choose and use one of the following three. For this turn, the next damage you take is reduced by two. Drop a soul from a monster on the field, or for this turn, your opponent cannot call more than three monsters. I assume so, I only use it for the... Uh, use it cannot call for more than three monsters. Well, here's the thing, though. It's also not once per turn. So you can use any of them. But the biggest thing is that against decks like Astro Dragon, uh, Link Dragon Order, um, any kind of, like, Lost World Turbo deck that requires you to call a lot, that, like, dig into your deck, mm -hmm. and... Most importantly, um, Dr Deity Dragon Tribe, with decks that, like, like that, the whole point is to, like, call a shit ton. Like, you, unless you kind of know that they have that card, you'll probably just be going ham and calling, like, because Jeevo counts as call. Mm -hmm. So, you do, like, four to five Jeevos, and then, like, and on, like, your first turn or your early turns, when you're setting up, like, calling Prudent Guard Dog or calling Guard Cat to get the resources... Um, you just immediately cast that the moment they call, like, Garga, or do what's happened to me before where I've called, like, two Garcats and a Gardog to get, like, all the gauge off of that, and, uh... Then they use this. Then they immediately cast Loyalty on me, and I'm like, well, I can't call Garga now, and then your entire play... It's basically just telling your opponent, like, they can't play their deck for another turn. Okay. Uh, so you use it against decks that, like, their primary focus is calling a lot of cards. Miles explained it better than I ever could. And you only use it against decks that call a lot. That's why it's a sideboard. Next, I run the main deck. three chest break. I already explained it on my Dragon Blood Suck deck profile. It's a fuck you to Max Dragon. Seven dollar uh, pro. Is it a promo? Yes. No. It's an X. Oh, it's right? a common from X. Mm -hmm. VTO four. Nice. Yeah, it used to be more expensive. God bless you, Eduardo. <laughs> uh, another. It's basically another. Uh, Buddy block, right? It's arguably better because you can't do anything at all. Face seal chains. I know. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually main deck this. Because I main deck buddy block for the second skill. And buddy block costs more. And this oh. one you can activate before. Yeah, you can try it. All right. Yeah. Well, There's no reason not to. Consider main deck. But what does it do? On the third... If your opponent attack three times, end the battle phase. Yeah. So, in buddy block, whereas attacks, like, are pointless in terms of dealing damage, if you're in, if you're using, like, DD Dragon Tribe... Wait, like, actually, it's with, like, pretty much the same thing, because this one's at the end of the third battle, and you can use the buddy block at the beginning of the here's fourth. The, here's the thing. If you use buddy block, your opponent still gets the remainder of their battle phase. Yeah, this they one just ends They can still make any amount of attacks they made. So, if I want to, like, loop my, um... If I want to do my, like, G Evo chain, mm -hmm. and I want to, like, narrow it down, if they use Buddy Block, and I have the choice between, like, offensive and resources, then I'll just pick the resource path. So instead of, like, looping, like, um, uh, Quasar, Kaiser, and, um, Raging together, I can instead do, um, Sonic, I can just focus on Sonic Mode and, um, uh, Return Mode, and, like, 
This that, just, like, stops. Oh, uh, well, uh... I mean, if you're ending the phase, then, like, I can still do it. So it's not actually that big of a difference. It is really just for, um... Uh... No, it, it kind of makes sense. It's like, there are... Oh, here's why. Um, they can still destroy my shit, like, with regular attacks. Yeah, because, like, if you're... It, it just kind of has some extra protection. You know, because it's like, okay, they can't attack at all anymore, so they can't swing at your side cards. Because the buddy block, it's like, well, I can't deal damage to my opponent, I'll just swing at their monsters instead. I'll just swing at their monsters, kill them, they won't have anything exactly. next turn, this just stops also, it. Also, it's not just... I'm just speaking of it from personal experience, but, like, with other decks that gain proc... Like, gain, like, proc abilities off of attacking, um, then, like... If there are any. Then, <laughs> if I'm like, playing in the mirror match against Ku. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like they literally can't use those abilities anymore. Whereas with Buddy Block, they can. Uh, well, I mean, unless they use um, so it Endgame like Study. So cucks your opponent out of the Yeah, they can do that. And then finally, just one more Cell Association, because why the fuck not? Because you don't know what else to put in. Yeah, I really don't. What but... about Lost World? Oh, yeah, I could do that. What you could do is drop Chess Break to two. And then take this and then out take and then that add out more. And put it into Lost World. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I know. Miles can read my mind, and I don't find that comfortable at all. Okay, so not only if can I do end read up your mind, but I can lick your toes. If I do end up uh, putting this in the main deck, what I'm gonna take out are the two buddy blocks and one cro uh, cross astrologia if I could find it. But it's all in a pile over here that I don't want to dig through. Uh, there it is. Didn't even have to dig that far. I'll take one of these out for it. But yeah, so yeah, just like. Take one of these out, then replace my buddy with Koo or Fret. Those are the only two I could use as my buddy, because the only two I run at four. So, yeah, that's basically it for my deck profile. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I probably won't have the answers, because I net deck this off of, a off of, uh, friend. So, that's enough. That's, pr that's pretty much it. Miles, how's Naruto going? Sasuke about to get dicked on. I still don't like that Sasuke marries Sakura. Eh, it doesn't change the plot at all. It doesn't, but it's still pretty fucking stupid. Oh, let me marry the guy that fucking tried to kill me. But, but it's okay, I could change him. Yeah, that's probably what you thought. She just knows forgiveness. It's a powerful thing to... It's a, it's a hard thing to learn. Remember, Fuck forgiveness. Always forgive. With the regionals coming up. If you're putting cheats on you, always forgive them. <laughs> no, no, no. Here's the thing. If the judges uh, disqualify you, forgive them. They don't know better. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm memeing, but they're fucking retarded. We get banned from team. <laughs> you speak for yourself here. No, the whole team. I'd like to be able to compete at regionals, especially when... Yeah, I'm done.